time, the most famous word these days, huh? Everybody wants more with less time. Everybody wants to know exactly how can they have a shortcut in life. As a matter of fact, you're not alone. Actually, in the last month, I feel like a broken record talking about how can you maximize time because we have different things to do. If you know my story, you know I have four kids, I have two dogs, I have a husband, I have my business. We also lead an amazing community here in town and uh, I don't know <laughs> how to start explaining to you how to do multiple things with little time. But I figured out because many of you start asking me. So there's one thing that I do differently that hopefully can give you some light <laughs> and hopefully you can really handle more things and you can feel like you can grow your business with little time and that is automation. And what exactly automation means is that, let me just actually walk you through why I feel in my opinion that your brain might not be ready to work in automation or with automation. I feel like when we were going to school, we were trained just to follow instructions. We were taking classes, we had homework, and then at the end of the day, if you had the test and you passed it, you had a good grade. Now, in the real life, life doesn't work in that way. We have multiple things coming on, most of them are out of our control. So there's one thing that you can do that really can help you to create systems and automate the multiple tasks that we have to do across the day. So if there's something that is going to help you to really do more in less time is having systems. And I call those method of operations. You should have by now a daily method of operations. That's one. The second one will be the weekly method of operations. The monthly method of operations is the third one. And the yearly method of operations is the fourth one. Now that we are coming to kind of the end of the year, and uh, maybe you're watching this video when it's at the beginning of the year, now is a very good time to sit down and review what is it that you should have done differently so that you can leave and you can run your business by having that famous balance that everybody wants. And in that way, you will notice that you start feeling better. You start feeling like more passionate about growing your company. And it's, it's not going to create that friction. And therefore, you feel that you're growing and your business is growing and also your life is growing. And it's not vice versa. And that is my secret, to do multiple things and even when it looks that it's multiple things at the same time, it is not really that. It's really that we have systems in place and I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. And I invite you to do the same.